So who said, I'm not saving your woke brand and turned down a multi-million dollar deal? Well, some articles you might catch online say Sylvester Stallone turned down a hundred million dollar deal for Bud Light, but I did some research. Turns out that that's not true. There was another article talking about how Michael Jordan severed his relationship with Nike over it being too woke and said, Hey, I'm not dealing with your woke brand or whatever. But in reality, also that is kind of unfounded. The reality is Denzel Washington is the one who originally says that said that quote, and he turned down a $50 million deal with Disney over the MCU, like, you know, uh, the superhero movies and whatnot. Now, Disney has gone woke over the past couple of years and has lost a lot of money. So perhaps affiliating itself with Denzel would make it less woke and maybe save it. Um, $1.4 billion Disney has lost in 2023. And that's only in theaters. Basically every single release they've had has not been profitable. So if that tells you anything, another brand that has been hit hard is Victoria's Secret right so they had the angels you know very popular they're in the malls whatever well victoria's secret decided they want to go woke too well they got rid of all those angels like you know their little models and they replaced them with the plus size and whatever purple haired woke ones well guess what huge drop in sales and they're wondering well why did people not want to buy stuff from us you know it's working for everybody else and i read an article said that the reason Victoria's Secret didn't make money is because they weren't being sincere with their approach into wokeness. I'm like, no, none of these companies are. The reality is that Victoria's Secret is hardcore about being sexy, right? Lingerie. So as much as a lot of people want to look at like the plus size models and other stuff and be woke about it and say that everybody's beautiful, the reality is that's not beautiful. I did a funny skit, you know, about... Women rating women, always tens, right? So if you show a woman some big girl, you're like, well, what do you think she, oh, she's a 10. And you're like, that's good. She reminds me of you. Then she'll be like, what are you trying to say? I'm fat. You know what I'm saying? That's the reality. You want to look from afar, you can say it's a 10, but it's, it's dishonest. That's why there's a hypocrisy of women rating women, always a 10. They don't truly believe that. They're just never honest. So I don't know, that's a whole nother argument, but I think guys... Are, are more honest about that and you, you trust the guy's judgment more you know what i mean even though you talk to women they'll be like hey you, yeah i much rather have a compliment from a woman than a man that maybe that's that's you but the reality is a woman is lying to you they just say you attend they'll tell you popular things and maybe guys do it too for a means to an end but generally speaking i feel like there's just more honesty among guys with that sort of thing anyway i am diverting from that but that's the reason i think that victoria's secret couldn't push it but i don't really think anyone is making decisions on where to put their money where to spend their money based on how woke the brand is i mean truthfully i look and this is the one time in history well at least my history that i've witnessed right where i see the majority isn't really pushing things right most people don't care about wokeness most people aren't hardcore trans rights activists, you know, or LGBTQ, QRS, all this stuff. Most people are not this way that I, that it, you know, I mean, at least that's my perception. I could be wrong. Right. But yet this is the mainstream and it's the mainstream because the powers that be the money supply, if you will, if you want to call it that is doing this CEI is what it's called. All right. This is. This program just received money from George Soros, Vanguard, BlackRock mainly. They're financing this sort of equity and equality index, right? And so this basically, they control the money supply in the sense that if you want to get money, if you want to get loans, if you want to get investment, if you want to get anything, and the Vanguard and BlackRock, if you know anything, these are the pinnacle of money in the world. Basically, they have their hands in everything. If you go get a loan at your local bank, down the line, it probably came from BlackRock or something. So anyway, for some reason, they've got it in their head and they're pushing this. So they say, this is the agenda. This is what we want to do. Obviously, they're not doing directly. They use this third party, which is the CEI, the Consumer Quality Index, whatever. And so you get grants, loans, investments, and other stuff if you go woke. And so that's what they're doing. They're, they're pushing it. Now, we're going to get why I think this is being pushed. Right. This is the rumor that I've heard of why this is happening. But first, I wanted to touch on, you know, these companies. How are they doing? How does Vanguard and BlackRock have all this money? 
these are companies that have accumulated a lot of money over a long time, but also they have mutual funds, um, they have ETFs, they have other investment vehicles, a lot of 401ks. So you may be investing your money through BlackRock. The majority of the money that these companies have is actually like, it's our money. They're holding it through accounts. You know what I'm saying? So that's what makes it even crazier is that these companies are shaping the world and making incredibly impactful decisions with your money, with our money. I've had a Vanguard account before. I don't have one now, but I'm just saying like that's what's happening. So it's very frustrating to know that the companies that are custodials, right? That it's a, they're holding your cash are making these decisions and shaping the world in this way. That's not necessarily what you agree with. So that's something to consider if you're holding accounts in these banks, or if you're holding an account in a bank that then holds their account with Vanguard or BlackRock. So that might be something you want to look into if you want to cut that loose, but whatever. Anyway, my theory and what I've heard of why this is happening, ultimately these companies want to make more money. So one way or the other, this whole agenda is making them money. I call it the limousine liberal mentality. It's this fake way to act like you care about issues, but in the reality, you've got a ton of money and that money is going to come back to you one way or the other. It's destroying the fabric, the traditional family unit, right? Everybody's going to be working and they're trying to make it cool to work, right? Telling women, you know what? Put your kids in the daycares, go get a career. And guess what? It's hurting. It's hurting the quality of the upbringing of your children. You're pushing everybody to get a job. You don't want traditional families. Then guess what? These kids are in daycare and they're in the cool school system longer. Well, guess what? You have all these laws and stuff that are influencing the school system. So basically the government is raising your children and influencing how they think. So it's a, it's a big cycle and it gets kind of scary. It gets kind of scary. And I say that again, because this isn't the way the majority of people think. This isn't what the majority of people want. Yeah, it's very subversive in that sense. Very, very subversive. I don't know where this is going to end up, but I think that it's going to end up turning things in a way that we can't even imagine. I'm not even a conspiracy theorist, too. I believe you should never attribute to malice what can be attributed to negligence or ignorance, right? However, this, this is planned. This is something that's been in the works for a long time that's reshaping the world we know and not in a positive way. You tell me, tell me what positive ways wokeness has affected us. It's, it's not the reality. It's like the matrix, really. You see these campaigns and stuff. It's, it's, you can't say the truth anymore because it's offensive. So you have a distorted idea of what reality is, which I hate. I would rather live in the cold truth, even if it sucks, than be the guy eating the steak in the simulation. But that's just me. So this is the reality we live in. What do you guys think is coming next? What are you doing to combat this? I mean, I know the hot issues are, you know, giving medications, that puberty blockers to children and other stuff like this stuff is scary. And there's more to come. There's more to come. So I don't know, you know, <laughs> I'm just here witnessing it and trying my best to understand why it's happening. But I don't know. It's a real shit show. So one thing I got to say, I really appreciate uh, Denzel Washington, who has stood up, you know, for cops before. Like the guy is very wise. I watch him speak on the red carpet and stuff. I'm like, man, this guy gets it, actually. Out of everybody in Hollywood, he's one of the few people that go against the grain. You know what I mean? Maybe he gets away with it because he's an African-American, so even the woke crowd don't want to try to cancel him. But let's hope he continues in his footsteps. And let's hope that more celebrities turn down deals uh, that are going woke. But money talks, man. Money talks. Even yours truly, maybe. They come off of me $200 million. You might see my videos change drastically. I start talking about Dylan Mulvaney's the man. or what? Well, no, that would be bad, right? He's the woman or whatever. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. As always, buy red and sell green.